Uh, let's talk about one more running back today, because now after we've seen Nick Chubb and uh, Aaron few, Jones, uh, Aaron Jones and David Montgomery and a few guys that have been staples thus far in usage Dobbins. have gone down and probably missing a couple weeks and J.K. Uh. Dobbins out for the season as well. Uh, let's continue this with Jerome Ford. Jerome Ford, I mean, what's there to say? Last night, he came in after Nick Chubb, went out with that horrific injury. That was awful. God, it made my stomach turn. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it's uh, he carried the long torch of successful Cleveland backup running backs. We, we yeah. had Darren Johnson for a couple of years, and now we got Dero- Jerome Ford. Is he the real deal, guys? Is Jerome Ford worth blowing? This is a guy that a lot of people, you're probably going to see someone drop $51 or like half their fab, at least on this guy. Hey, 16 uh, rush attempts in this game, had 106 yards, had that huge 69 yarder um, that almost 69. Yeah, he almost scored it on that run. He he didn't quite get it all the way into the end zone there on that particular run. But uh, Pierre Strong actually ended up getting the goal line carries because I think Ford was actually winded. I think he would probably get those goal line carries. He's not a huge back. He's about 209 pounds. So he's where you you kind of want to be at the running back position, 210, 215. So he's not a guy that they're just going to go away away from uh, on in early down situations or, or things of that nature. I think. Really what what we're going to what I'll evaluate, which probably needs to be looked at a little bit more with him is his blocking ability. I know in college he was a pretty good pass pro guy, uh, and that's why the Browns and and other teams liked him. So uh, he's definitely a dude that he's only got 9 percent ownership over on ESPN right now. Um, With that being said, that's going to jump big time. I think the big thing now is trying to figure out how much fab are we going to spend on him? And if he didn't hit that 69 yard run. He'd be a lot cheaper, to be honest with you. If that right, wasn't yeah. on Sports Center today, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that right there told me. Hey. Gonna, take it from someone that in the past spent $47 on Dearness Johnson. Like it's yeah. someone's gonna drop some some money. I might I mean I, I'd honestly I'm thinking <laughs> <laughs> if if you want to take, if you want to risk it for the biscuit. You're, you're spending that kind of money on this dude. You might spend a little bit more because there's people who have no idea how fab works in a lot of leagues. And if you need a running back you and you, you feel confident about the uh, backfield usage that this guy could receive if they don't go and get another guy, which they're probably going to go sign another dude. They may have already done well, it while we're talking. Wait, actually, Brandon, one guy that we're sleeping on here to we should throw in is a guy that the Browns traded for not three weeks ago. And he's still getting acclimated offense is Pierre Strong Jr. He yep. was one of the big, he was a huge sleeper name in the draft last year. A lot of people yeah. liked him. He actually had a couple good games for New England towards the end of the year to the point where Cleveland, Cleveland went and traded a fourth round pick yep. for Pierre Strong. So they brought in a guy already. And that might be as if you cannot get Jerome Ford, I would throw in like a little $5 fab for a backup and pick up Pierre Strong Jr. Because he might emerge with more usage as the season goes on. So he may be, you know, the the less pretty cousin, but, you know. <laughs> but listen, you're not you're not completely wrong. Like I said, he got those goal line carries immediately after Ford had that 69 yard run. But again, I, th- exactly. I feel like because he was winded, maybe they throw Ford back out there to, to run those goal line carries. But again, you're seeing they have confidence in Pierre Strong. So you could be looking at a split backfield, but you're still getting good volume potentially either way. So risk it. You don't get the one guy, go get the other guy. You're right. 100%.